In this video, you'll see how to manage nested organizational units, or OU, in AWS Control Tower. With this capability, you can create nested OUs within your organization, register nested OUs with Control Tower, and enroll multiple accounts under each nested OU to simplify governance. We'll start in the root OU for our organization. As you can see, one of the child OUs in our root structure is itself a parent OU. Let's take a look at this parent OU and its nested OUs. We have five levels of nested OUs. Let's take a brief look at these OUs in AWS Control Tower. New functionality in Control Tower lets us see all our OUs, including the nested ones. We can also see whether nested OUs and associated accounts are governed in Control Tower. Let's return to AWS Organizations and create a new OU from there. For the purposes of this example, we have an empty sandbox OU, where we'll create a nested OU. We'll name this nested OU non-prod. The nested OU we just created can now be seen within the sandbox OU. Let's go to Control Tower and find non-prod in the OU list. Notice that the OU's current state is unregistered. Let's drill down. We can click the button at the top of the page to register non-prod with Control Tower, or we can register it directly from the OU list. Let's do it from the list. Both methods lead to this registration page, which provides information on risks and expectations and the inheritance of guardrails from OUs higher in the tree. These are the guardrails the nested OU will inherit. Let's agree to the terms and register the OU. Let's fast forward to when registration has completed. As you can see, non-prod has now been registered. We can also create and govern a nested OU within the Control Tower UI. Let's name this nested OU prod and select the sandbox OU as its parent. Note that AWS Organizations currently supports nesting only five levels deep which is why we don't have the option to select nested OU level 5 as a parent here. Let's wait for the OU to register. Now that the prod OU has been created and registered in Control Tower, let's navigate to the account factory to enroll an account in a nested OU. We'll set up our production account and enroll it in the nested prod OU. We can follow the account's creation process in Control Tower or in AWS Service Catalog. In this case, we'll view it in Service Catalog. As you can see, the account's current status is updating. Let's return to AWS Control Tower to view the account details. Our account is now enrolled, and its status is compliant. Let's take a look in the parent OU. We can see that we have one enrolled account and that it is governed. Here we can see what guardrails are enabled and where each is inherited from. Let's return to the list of OUs. Notice that the non-prod OU has two accounts that are not governed, as they are not enrolled in AWS Control Tower. Let's find them in the Organization's Management Console. Now let's return to Control Tower and find them by drilling down into the non-prod OU. Here are the child accounts. Let's enroll them. Instead of enrolling the accounts one at a time, we can re-register this OU to enroll both accounts at once. Note that all the accounts immediately under this OU will be enrolled, and not all accounts under the nested structure. Here you can see the two accounts under the non-prod OU. The guardrails are the same as before. As you can see, the two non-prod accounts are in the process of enrolling. When non-prod finishes registering, the OU and its two accounts will be governed by Control Tower. You've just seen how to manage nested OUs in AWS Control Tower. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.